Don't keep him waiting. Sorry for making the call without you, but the club's a good man. I say we hear him out. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps, I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Wow, that, that, that's really helpful. You're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Uh, feel free to stay as long as you like. All right, we're back. So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordeaux's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Bet you're looking for Globo, huh? You, I bet you want to hear him drum, don't you? Yeah, well, where is he? Well, try to wrap your head around this. He got signed to Blobbity Bloops Records, and he landed a big gig on a late-night TV show here, and this could be his big break. And it's all because of you. We all knew he was going to be a big star, and you took the time, and God damn it. Oh, we're just so excited. Thank you so much. Holy shit, that's amazing. Oh, my God. I, I'm so glad that we could be part of, like, you know, music history. You know what? Fuck everybody who made fun of him for farting out of his face. Globo's going to be huge. I mean, this is a... You're, you're looking at the next, uh, 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 uh D Davey Wilson. All right! Hey! Asshole! Come over here right now, sir! Here's 
what's up? My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? Did we look like people that would want to buy alien cum? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographics. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So what, what's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? All right, uh, listen, we thought it over, and we'll take some alien cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off for free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Blam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Personal space. Please don't touch, I'll explode. Hey, you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, uh, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. I don't mean to rush you, but we're here to help you buy the product so you can get out. And stay out. I better lock those doors. Oh, whoa! Oh, you look like you're hungry for some food. Wink, wink. I can help. Wink, wink. Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on. We're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Excellent. I hope you enjoy your food. Well, guess what, Clog Nugman? Woo! How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. 
Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. Does your species know about personal space? So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Don't come nice! Pop the old big town and stand around and make it look like there's people here. Come on, Dad. Oh, check out that landing. Goddamn! Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. He, um, he took off as soon as we got home. When I checked his cabin, he disappeared. Uh, I've never seen him this upset. I'm afraid he's gonna do something silly. That's funny. This guy hasn't come back yet either. Uh, I keep thinking I'm gonna wake up soon and find myself back in my bed at school, just waiting to come home. I've been telling you to clean up! This place is a mess! I need you to clean it up before Tweed gets here! Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. Well, you're off having fun doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus! Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. We're all living under the same roof, and that makes us family. And it makes her business my business. I'm the man of the house, so she needs to do what I say. And before anyone accuses me of being a misogynist, yeah, I know I'm a misogynist. We all know I'm a misogynist. That's bad, and I'm working on it. But this is about me being right and your sister being wrong. Listen to yourself. I can make my own decisions. I don't know why you think you're suddenly some father figure to me just because you're crashing on my couch and eating my diary. Oh yeah, I said eating. He's been eating pages out of my diary. So what? My species eats paper. It's delicious. Who gives a shit? I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. 
It's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Klug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. There we go. Why haven't you been using me? What you guys are doing in here? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna gonna wipe now. Still wiping. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, it's working, baby. Let's do this, bounty hunter. It's skyrocketing. Whatever you're doing, do that and only that. to be a professional runner on earth or something? Hell yeah! Changed your mind about something? Fill your days with wonder. Take good care of your purchase, Bounty Hunter. I spent 15 years polishing it. Not gonna let me take a break, huh?
can't we just stay on the ground for a bit? Just land, please just land, please just land. Surprise, a power slide. That's a beautiful slide. That is just the most amazing slide I've ever seen in my life. That is a beautiful slide. Dipshit, I've been itching to get back in the game. You're back. Hey, come on through. Come right on through. Uh, right there on the, the tin. As soon as we got home, when I checked his cabin, he disappeared. Uh, I've never seen him this upset. I'm afraid he's going to do something silly. That's funny. Scott hasn't come back yet either. Uh... Exactly, yep. Now tell us stuff. Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Don't really care. But just to be polite, where are they? They're working at Screndo Labs now. Just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Cool. Again, don't really care.
open for ya. You know, that, that's where we fought Krubus and, and, and killed him and rescued Gus, remember? You remember? jetpack to good use nice we're really flying huh really cool stuff bounty hunter like we're flying okay this definitely must be the right way because you know we we uh we we haven't gone this way yet you know
Oh, hold on. Don't, don't pass through here. I've got to make you signs and forms. Just one sec. All right, enough of this. We're, we're opening the door ourselves. Hey, you, you haven't left yet, right? Because it's, it's really important I get you checked in. And it's also really important that I finish shitting. Nice to see you again, partner. You been happy for me? How's it going? Zip line to cross? Science, huh? That was never really my thing. I'm not anti-science or anything like that. I'm not one of those crazies. I'm just like more into other shit. You know, uh, I, I don't want to think about formulas or whatever, man. That's all I know about science, really. It's just that there's formulas sometimes. You know, it's like other things that I love that, that are not, not so, not, 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 not science related. I'm into shit like, like milkshakes and stuff like that and old TV shows, man. You know, I'm into that kind of stuff. You, you got a problem with that? You got, you gonna judge me? Screnda Labs, only off. Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. 
but sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're uh, gonna set off the alarm. Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care much. Oh shit, here they come. You know, hey, at least the elevator's working now. Would you like to do the honors? We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fusing this human with some other aliens. Just hit the button. Yeah, sure. It's not gonna kill them, right? Look, I can do it myself if you don't want to. I'm just trying to be nice.
Whoa. Hmm. That wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, no shit. Uh, that blood's on your hands, bounty hunter. You're the one who pushed the button. But hey, we all make mistakes. This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a Furman, or, or maybe a Hurgle. I, we haven't decided yet. Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. Yeah, sick experiment, dude. You killed a human and left a Fergal on its corpse. Who's the scientist here, me or you, huh? getting into this. I want to see more freaky shit. What's up? here really needs to get their shit together. What a mess. Hello, Jonathan. It's Dr. Gurgula. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. It's only a small portion, and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantuas I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. This Dr. Gurgula guy creeps me out. God, are those Gatlians? I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, hey, you look nice. My name's Creature. The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked me up real bad in basically every way you can imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another Gatlian alive in here? Are there any others? Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no! These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel! You want in? Oh, no, no, no! They take good care of me! Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me? Okay, you know what? Say it out loud! I think they might actually be bad! I'm part of your team now! Hell yeah! Welcome aboard, uh, Creature! The, the... That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in. That's fine. Ah, beautiful. Look how one of my little fuckers just saved us. What? Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm numb to it. Oh, yeah, that's one of my children. They die fast. Don't worry, it's easy to make more, and it feels good! God, I love them so much! Ah, uh, who are these cute critters? I don't want to 
be annoying, but you could use me to get into the weapons crafting center. Hope that's not annoying to say or anything. You know, your holster's not as much fun as you might think. Grafted to my arm. Intruders! After hey, Gatlian. I can fight too! to make it last longer, but they're shitheads. They do not listen. Wow. They usually put me in an airtight crate whenever they take me outside. I really liked it. Look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of him. Hey, this is fun. Do you do this sort of stuff all the time, bounty hunter? Some, what are your people called again? 
Cubos, you're a very good looking Cubo. Jonathan, I think we're gonna kill you! should be out of guys by now. I don't know all the math on how many guys... Oh, portal door. Do you use those to go back to your home base and regroup? It would make me so happy if you would just use my fucking trick hole. My trickle, feel free. Quality over quality, I guess. Oh, I need to eat 
nice, isn't it? Jordan, hey, who are 
those little guys? I don't know. I, I guess they're my kids. They, they figured out a way to get me pregnant. Then BAM! I shot all these weird freaks right out of my ass. I love them all. God, I love them so fucking much. My fucked up little boys. The people in charge here are mad because they're not human. Nobody really knows what species these things are, but I love them anyway. I mean, how, how can I not? How, how could a father not love his fucked up little alien spawn? It's impossible. Let's save your people. Be free! Hey, Stacy. Hey, Carla. Hey. They want us to bang, but she uh, used to be my boss. Yeah, I was supposed to fire her, and then we all got abducted by aliens. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're not attracted to each other. I mean, she's cool, but not my type. And she is my type, but she's not cool. We should rescue your friends. They're so cute. you watching today uh i guess it's supposed to be porn but it's like alien porn so i, I don't know I, I honestly have no idea what i'm watching i mean i was able to get off to it like after a while uh, honestly now i love it though i'm uh, not sure why they want me to jack off this much but you know i'm happy to do it oh what the hell what, what is this what is this why is this in here i'm trying to jack off this is really distracting to me but i'll still be able to do it trust me I, i've been through a lot like all the tentacles and the moving parts, it's, I don't know, there's something really endearing about it. Yeah, I, I like it a lot, actually. I mean, if, if I ever get out of here, I, I hope I can, like, bring this with me at least. I mean, I, I don't even think I could go back to normal porn after this. Nice! Go on, have a good life! Oh, there you are! Hey, everyone, stop eating! We got an intruder to kill!
roaches. Whoa, that was creative. That nice work. What's the plan?
Oh, alien biology. Always like it's just it's just fucked. It's just fucked, really. Good, delicious. Now let me dig into the last bro. Each one more visually better than the last. You know what? I don't see this often, but I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter? Romantuous? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Oh, okay, that sounds bad. <laughs> Bounty Hunter, I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you want to really suffer. Uh-oh! I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. That it's going to hurt. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Sorry, bounty hunter. We'll stop him, I promise. That went pretty well, dipshit. You're getting good at this. Let's take it home for a well-earned break. Ooh, you know I'm always game. Ah, you killed the Skrendel brothers and freed us again. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone else is too traumatized to talk right now. Sorry. We just keep getting captured over and over again, you know? Oh, okay, you're leaving. You're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Yeah. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads, maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean... My name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg, you need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my Frendelos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking Frendelos. And leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Twig, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey! Your family's doing a great job. 
You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. All right, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Twig. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Twig. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Twig moving in, right? Hell yeah! That's the right call! Twig's a creep! You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to, to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Let me show reaching out to your boy. It's been a minute, huh? Time's up, motherfuckers. Hey, hey, you didn't see nothing. I, 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 I'll, I'll be straight with you. I'm Gary the Poisoner, but don't you dare say shit. Maybe you heard of me. I'm poisoning all the water in Blim City. Do not believe the mainstream media. What I'm doing is very important. You know, you, you, you might not understand it now. You might not understand what I'm doing, but... Down the road, this is all going to make sense to you. This is all going to come together. I am doing this town a great service by poisoning all the water. So don't fucking say a word. You better keep that trap shut. Jeez, you are just not leaving me alone. Okay, okay, yeah. You got me. I'm Gary the Poisoner. I'm poisoning the water. You, you, you must love that. You must want in. You must want in on this. Okay, so here's what you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go to the, find the door to the sewers, enter this passcode, 72994. You type that code in, and you get, you go down into the sewers, and then you'll see my drop bag that's full of poison. And then you're gonna go ahead and climb out of the sewers. I know that seems counterintuitive. And then you're gonna go to the water plant, and then once you're in the water plant, you're gonna go down into the sewers again there, and you're gonna start pouring my poison into the water. You're gonna be one of my 30 agents that is now dispersed across Blim City, poisoning the water supply. I've got agents everywhere. This is a whole network. And again, what we're doing is so important. Do not fucking say a word about this. Sean, I can't tell. I can't tell. 